The St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival has historically been an economic driver for the island nation. The festival attracts thousands of visitors who spend money on hotels, restaurants, and other goods and services. Locally, the concert series also creates jobs for St. Lucians in tourism, hospitality, and entertainment industries and generates economic activity in host communities. Culture Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire touts economic inclusion in the return of the Jazz Festival in 2023. I met somebody who was a hairdresser and she was saying, you know, she virtually book until July, you know, because there are so many things coming and she had so many books, bookings for this week, whatnot. And it just show you the reach of it from the hairdresser, um, the, the, the ladies who do nails, um, persons who, who sew, people are ordering outfits, whatnot. Um, and and it, it is spreading. And then you have, of course, the vendors. <clears throat> in Sufre City, you could have seen it at the launching. You could have seen the amount of vendors in, involved. Further than jazz, Dr. Hiller says, the administration is determined at the policy level to foster a vibrant professional creative arts sector that leads to paying jobs, careers and attendant spin-offs. We need to create an economy. The, the whole, I mean, this is beyond the jazz, so I'm going into a little policy and some vision of the government. We want to establish a creative economy. There are people with creative skills. Designers, seamstresses, cosmetologists, hairdressers, um, we said the vendors, all those people can make a living out of the creative, out of events. We cannot just have two a year. You can't make a sustainable livelihood out of two a year. But if we have a series of activities throughout the year, exposing different elements of our culture, emancipation, Creole heritage, carnival, if we introduce, like we, well, we have the jazz festival, we have arts. The minister envisions the island as a hub of creative inclusion and collaboration, a year-round cultural experience where there is always an entertainment showcase to draw audiences. Please, a month when we just have plays in St. Lucia, different parts of St. Lucia, play, young playwriters writing plays and putting on plays, young actors and young actresses coming up. And we create a whole economy around events and creative expression. People can have livelihoods in that. People from overseas coming in. I mean, at the Arts Festival yesterday, I met um, some really world-renowned persons from Miami, Europe, who are here for, for the arts component. Um, and if we create St. Lucia as a creative hub, a creative environment in St. Lucia where creative people can earn a living because we have so many activities taking place for them, all the way down to the vendors at the different activities, the persons involved in catering, you know, in, in waiters, and just think about it, what we can do for St. Lucia. The notion of a series of festivals is not new, but proponents of the PR administration believe former governments failed due to a reliance on an imported, top-down rather than the homegrown, ground-up approach where locals are among the prime stakeholders in promoting St. Lucia culture. The current administration says local ownership and participation with outside collaboration are paramount. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.